there's something we need to fix uh, that you can see when we are attacking different direction it's not smooth so that's something we need to fix yeah let's look on the new rotation that i've been a little bit more smooth than before so that you can see it's not rotate instantly it's a little bit more smooth now let's say with this ward like that and like that so this looks a lot better so when you're running like this uh, that you can see it's looks really really good now so yeah that was some improvement it's time to make a wood platform for the starting area so i did open up blender and started to design So here's the full result for the, what can we call it? Wood platform. So now can we put NPC here? Maybe put some quest or something. So here is the result. It's a little bit more visual for this place. Yeah, you know, NPC is very important. And now I'm gonna talk about patrol and action. So that's something I have been working for the game. I'm trying to make it a little bit more life in the game when you see an NPC, not all the NPC, but I have trying to make something new. So we're gonna look on that. Okay, first can we look how the system is work? We are not gonna dive into deep, but that you can see here, I have been adding path or waypoints in different places for different NPC. And here can you see example, I have made NPC patrol script. Example, we are using navmes agent for this. Uh, we can add the waypoints where the NPC gonna walk. Uh, we can add wait time. And I have been adding if it's just gonna patrol and don't do anything, just walk and idle example. Then I have been adding something called patrol action. So we can example choose different waypoint. Example, we can see here on uh, we're gonna work up here wait a second there so here is um, path 2 uh, it's close to this one so it's mean like it's gonna walk up here then I can add some animation clip that you can see here so when it's going up here and staying on that position waypoint slash path yeah whatever then I can choose how long it's gonna stay there and what kind of animation, then what object it's going to look at. It, example, it's going to look on this book. So this gonna f make, uh, yeah, it's gonna give more life for the game and we're gonna look how it's look like. Yeah, so here's the final result and remember I'm gonna expand this later, but uh, that you can see this one is fishing. Uh, so that's something we need to fix like, uh, fix some animation bug, maybe we need to add some uh, objects uh, for the NPC when they're doing something, example here, need to have a hammer or something, and uh, yeah, when it's fishing, need to have a fish road, and you can see on this NPC, it's walking, let's see here, we're gonna run up here, it's gonna stay here, now is the patrol system working, and like I said, I'm gonna expand this and improve it even more later, but this is the most important thing, it's working at least. Okay, let's jump into the other progress now. Okay, it was time to start design the compass. I didn't have a really good plan, I did feel like I just want to replace the old one. So I did open up the vector software and started to design. Yeah, so that you can see here's the full and updated compass and I can be very honest, I'm not really happy with it, uh, the color, the contrast, so if someone wants to suggest something you can comment. And the other thing I did fix is, wait a second, that you can see here now when we are loot or gathering example, I did remove the grey background so it looks a little bit cleaner now. So yeah, this was everything for this devlog and remember, subscribe, like and something very important, 
Now can you wishlist Blixia in Steam? So yeah, go inside and do that. And have a have a good day, thanks.